my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Trisha. I make cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle videos. And if you're into these kinds of stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the red button down below. And you can also follow me on my Instagram account. It's at lovetrisha12. And on my Facebook account, it's the Love Trisha 12 The links are in the description box below. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in New Zealand. Right now, I am going to organize our bedroom closet. I bought a couple of organized for this project and I'm also going to use old organizers so this is actually part of my minimalism series this series is about slowly changing my lifestyle to minimalism so this means that I am also going to declutter the clothes that we have in our closet today hold up so this video turned out to be decluttering our entire room from supposed to be decluttering just our closet and I'm not mad about it because our room turned out to be less cluttered after this day. And you'll see later on in the video the big difference that it made. If you haven't watched my minimalism series yet, I'm going to put the link up in this corner or in the description box below. The first video is all about introduction to minimalism, what is minimalism, reasons why we should start uh, changing into this lifestyle if you're interested. And I also started decluttering my bags, purses, and wallets in that first video. And on my second video, actually this video was supposed to be the second video for the minimalism series, but because of the film The Social Dilemma so I made a video about digital minimalism and I'm also going to make a follow-up video about it. For the third installment in this series, I am going to declutter our clothes. I'm going to give our bedroom closet a good makeover today and I'm really excited about this video. As you can see, there are a lot of stuff under our bed mattress because it's where we keep all of our unused stuff like all the empty boxes from our purchases and our luggages and any other else that we need to keep for a long time. I want to take everything out so that I could reassess if the items under this mattress are still worth keeping or should be thrown away already. I'll also take this opportunity to vacuum this area because we are also changing the positioning of our bed because I realized that this position did not maximize our bedroom space at all. By the way guys, Dennis is helping me today but he doesn't want to be on camera because as you know, this is not his thing. But I just want to assure you guys that I did not lift the mattress at all by myself because that would be impossible. I really love this vacuum, you guys. As you can see, I was still amazed by the discoveries that I keep on uncovering in using this vacuum. Honestly, you guys, I was really amazed during this time. I didn't know that it can do this. I thought I still have to take off the rest of the bars to completely vacuum the underbed floor, but voila! I did not have to do that anymore as it turns out. I also decided to wipe the bottom corners of the wall because they seem to accumulate a lot of dirt as time goes by. I did not bother wiping it completely clean because it will be hidden by the bed anyway. By the way, thank you to everyone who left their comments on my previous video. Magnolia and Pine, Laundry and Lemons, Vicky Fernival, Eyeshadow Dropper, Mimi Venn, and Heart to Pasho. And everyone else that I didn't get to mention, all your likes and comments help this channel a lot so please keep them coming guys. Again, thank you so much. This is now the new setup of our bedroom. This actually effectively maximized the space that we have. By the way guys, I'm going to give our bedroom a makeover soon because a part of transitioning into a minimalist lifestyle is to have less items inside the bedroom. And I also want to use light colored furniture in our bedroom so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet to see our bedroom transformation soon, probably around late November. Right here, I'm giving this drawer a good wipe because it's been under the wooden desk for a long time and I'm going to place this inside our large closet to keep it hidden. I want to lessen the items that we have in our bedroom for us to have more space to walk around or move inside. Plus, it looks cluttered having a lot of items displayed in the bedroom. You'll see later on in the video how refreshing our room looks like after all the decluttering. I promise you guys, it was really worth it. And 
And now, for the main event of this video, I'm finally showing you how messy our closet is. Voila! We have two large bins and one medium-sized bin at the top of the shelf and then below it there's like this whole pile of mess which I can fully understand how we were able to find our stuff in there. Most of the items in those large Tupperwares are my husband's old jacket and linens. I had to convince him before I started this video that maybe it's time to get rid of his old stuff which he never used anymore so that we could make space for the other new items that we have acquired during our marriage. Fortunately, he finally agreed to do so. That's why I'll be able to organize this closet today. Like any other organization process, I took out everything first and then I'm going to wipe it clean. By the way guys, I already have a lot of organization videos. If you like watching these videos, then you should check out my playlist. I'll have it linked in the description box below. Seriously, I really have to declutter this area now because I've been keeping a lot of stuff that I shouldn't keep anymore. This is where we keep all sorts of stuff like our shoes, bags, this bubble wrap, papers and other files, my hair dryer and flat iron. This is why it's really important for me to organize this closet because it's really hard to find these items anymore whenever we need them. The last time I vacuumed this area was probably about more than 6 months ago. That's why I'm really glad that I now have the time to do this now. Of course, I also have to wipe the corners. I should have probably wiped the corners first before vacuuming it, but it is what it is. I was just too excited to declutter the closet actually. Everything inside this bucket is Dennis' jacket. I was asking him during this time which of these jackets he's willing to get rid of or he won't be using anymore. Which of these he's keeping. We ended up getting rid of the blue one. I bought this new container because this size is perfect for underbed storage. This is somewhat shorter than the other one. This is where I'm moving all the winter jackets that Dennis and I won't be using anymore because it's spring to summertime now in New Zealand and it won't be after another half a year or so before it gets cold again here. So I'm keeping all these winter jackets under our bed to give room for our spring to summer clothes. Today is also the day for me to finally assess which of these shoes I'm going to sell or donate. I'm also keeping all the shoes that I'm keeping inside these shoe boxes but I'm also planning to buy shoe organizers for them soon. I'm also selling the skin toned heels and I'm only keeping this black one just so I have one of them for formal events or so. I'm keeping all these shoe boxes in this corner but I'm already convinced that I still have to buy a shoe organizer for them. I also bought this wire basket to store our towels. So we only have two sets of towels because we don't see the point of keeping a lot of extra towels. They'll just add more space to our tiny home. I also bought a file organizer to keep our paper stuff, notebooks, and the like. So now, I'm finally showing you our closet. Finally, I was able to fully organize everything inside. What do you think guys? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I love reading your comments. Now, I still have yet to show you our entire room, so just keep watching the video, guys. I want to show you how less cluttered our room is compared to what it was before. Back to our underbed storage situation, I have finally placed back all the empty boxes that we still need, like the box for the vacuum and my ring light, because we might need these boxes when we move to another apartment in the future. I also have here these two storage containers which fit perfectly under our bed. They contain all our winter stuff and all the clothes which we won't be using for a while. I also have here this large bag which contains some of my Christmas stuff. I'll probably be needing this soon because we're going 
going to decorate for Christmas very very soon and I'm also going to make a video about it. In the meantime, if you're already in the Christmas spirit, you can watch my Christmas decorating video which I made last year. I'll put the link in the description box below. Right here, I'm putting back all these bars before we finally place the bed mattress back. Dennis was actually peeking inside the bedroom watching me do this because he was not sure if I could really do it all by myself. He's so sweet like that. Anyway, I was able to successfully do it, so kudos to myself. These are the stuff which I won't be keeping anymore. I'm actually going to donate these items. I'm also getting rid of this picture frame because I'm lessening the visual clutter in our bedroom. And that includes photographs. I'm also getting rid of this bedside lamp because honestly you guys, we don't use it that often anyway. I also decided that I don't need this alarm clock anymore since we have alarm clocks and alarm on our phones now. I'm really serious about getting into this minimal or essential lifestyle. So right when you enter the bedroom, you're not going to be welcomed by the large desk anymore. This is what you're actually going to see. I'm still yet to determine where I'm going to keep the guitar but so far it's looking great. There's a lot more space now than before. And then right here is my desk. I have finally convinced Dennis to place the TV outside because another thing that I learned about minimalism is to remove distractions from the bedroom like the TV for example because instead of immediately sleeping or going to bed, you end up sleeping late because of watching movies or TV shows inside the bedroom. I'm also planning to finally get rid of the bedside table below the desk but that would be for another video because I will be making a bedroom makeover soon so be sure to turn on the bell icon to keep you notified whenever I post a new video. Let me know if you like watching these kinds of videos guys because I sure do enjoy making them. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting my channel. I love you guys and see you on the next one.